so I don't know that I'll ever show this to anybody. It's a little bit more of a video journal um, because I have I have been struggling so hard for definitely the last 90 days um, from a work perspective where I've just I haven't taken a break um, very very little tiny couple hours here and there kind of things and you know, I knew my greatest warning signs were about six weeks ago when I was really out of control with my hormones, my thyroid hormones, and um, just, I felt like a hot mess. First of all, I felt like I was a 13-year-old girl again. It was very bad. But, you know, beyond that, I was just exhausted to where I had people asking me, you know, are you okay? I'm a little worried about you. I mean, you obviously don't, you look very tired, and and I can tell, I know you, and I could just tell you're, you're kind of shutting down and and I had it kind of went through my normal compartmentalization thing but I had um, obviously it kind of crossed that line I know my line um, you know your addictions and that's happens to be one of mine and I knew that I had started shutting off emotionally and disconnecting in places in order to deal with the workload that I had um, and the other demands by the other things that I choose to put in my life, um, the ways that I like to give back in my community and serve people, and um, those are things I'm not willing to sacrifice ever and give up. And so I tried to manage it, and I wasn't obviously managing it very well. And fast forward to now, and I've just um, not been depressed in the last week I'm just exhausted you know I got a great you know several days away took vacation with my mom to Savannah um, walked around saw a lot of things it was great um, turned my brain off for a couple days which was again nice but um, my brain's not rested like it's just it's completely fried my creativity has gone and um, so I had to get real because I realized through the process in the last two days when I was barely functional this weekend and had I had to get about 12 hours of work done and I I think I did maybe three of it and I, I just couldn't I couldn't execute um, but I I just realized that you know we can do great in our journey of self-awareness and and love and the emotional stability and all that kind of stuff that I've done all the hard work for in the last four years but you know, sometimes it's time to peel another layer back on the onion. It's time we just kind of hit this invisible wall and you don't really know why, but other things are coming to the surface. And I think it's it's ultimately a great thing, even though it's going to be a little uncomfortable for me for a little bit because I have to now address the new things that I'm aware of. Um, and I'm like, when? When am I going to find the time to actually dedicate to that? But that's okay. That's, you know, something that I have to take seriously and work in and for the sake of my health and the sake of my, my own <laughs> mental and emotional stability. Um, and the people that have encouraged me have been amazing. And so um, you find that some people are willing to listen without judgment or without offering advice because you just need somebody to listen. And there are those that just recognize that you're not being yourself and that you need encouragement and love. And to those few people that have stepped up to the plate for me when I needed it the most, I mean, there's so much love and gratitude. Um, yeah, so here's to a new day. I'm choosing today to believe in myself differently and to remember where my strength comes from and to plug back into the source and, you know, um, tackle what's ahead of me both in my personal onion journey, as I like to call it, and work-related and otherwise, and um, maybe a shower. We'll see.